Hey everybody, this is Pastor Jeremy with Restoration Church Celebrate Recovery. I just love to say that I love all you guys and uh, had a little word, kind of kind of falling in line with some, some words that I've heard going around lately from some of our other guys. Uh, this, this comes out of the 26th chapter of Job. And uh, I'm going to start right here in verse 5. It says, The departed spirits tremble beneath the waters, and all that inhabit them. Sheol is naked before God, and Abaddon has no covering. He stretches the northern skies over empty space. He hangs the earth on nothing. He wraps up water in clouds, yet the clouds do not burst beneath the weight. He obscures the view of his throne, spreading his cloud cover over it. He laid out the horizon on the surface of the waters at the boundaries between light and darkness. This is describing God in a way. Uh, it's not fully describing God, but it is, it is amazing and astounding that God can hang water up in the middle of the sky and it not just fall down on us. And uh, and earlier on, it actually said that uh, he hangs the earth out in, in nothing. I mean, it's just, he just put it out there because he's God, and that's what he can do. Uh, and then you get down to the end of this chapter, and it says, These are but the fringes of his ways. How faint is the word we hear from him. Who can understand it? His mighty thunder. There's so much that we don't understand, and there's so much that we could understand even more. And this is coming from Job, so you know, this was chapter 26, Job, he done been through so much stuff that you and I, most of us, can't even pretend to comprehend, and uh, he's still in awe of who God is, and uh, it's just, it's just... It's just amazing, and, and when we allow the Spirit of God to work in and through us, through His Word, we can gather so much more. But when we live here in this worldly, fleshly life, we just struggle to uh, comprehend any of this. But, you know, God's got everything in control. God knows exactly what's going on. He knows the end. We don't have to stress nor worry about any of this junk that's going on in our world. Lean on Him. Lean on His understanding. And we don't have to understand. Uh, and then skip on over here to Matthew chapter 9. Or chapter 10, sorry. Starting around verse 5. Jesus is telling his uh, disciples that they need to go out and share the word um, of, of him. And he said, instead, go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you proclaim, the kingdom of heaven has come near. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse those with, rep with leprosy, and drive out demons. Freely you received, freely give. And it goes on to say, don't acquire gold, silver, or copper for your money belts. Don't worry about the worldly stuff. Don't be gathering up a bunch of riches. Go out and spread this word. Spread this love. Share the love. I'm not going to read this whole passage to you, but... Going on down there, he's also saying, uh, Jesus is telling them, hey, you go to a city, you go to a town, and you find somebody worthy. You find somebody there who wants to hear, who wants to know, who wants to feed off the love of Jesus, who maybe, maybe they are, uh, you know, maybe they know something about it, maybe they know nothing about it, but you will know. And, and he says to, Share your peace with them. You have the peace of God inside of you. If you're a saved child of God, you have access to all the peace 
that you could ever, ever use. And you can share it. And he also says to those who are unworthy, take your peace with you. Take his, don't share the peace. Don't waste everything you got on people who are unworthy, unwilling, not wanting. He said, dust your feet off, head on down the road. He's got another place for you to go. So I just like to say I love you guys and I thank you guys for uh, everything that y'all do. Every one of our members at Restoration Church. I miss you guys. It's been kind of strange uh, doing all this. And uh, there's been some really good videos. I hope y'all are all feeding on the videos. Just like to say a prayer with you guys before I go. Father God, I just thank you, Father, for this platform that we're able to share on. I thank you for your word, Father. I thank you for your love and your peace. I pray that you would just pour out your peace upon everybody who watches this, Father God. I pray that you would just touch every one of our members, every one of our staff members, and every one of our attendees, Lord God, and 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 anybody, Lord Jesus, that just comes in contact, they could just have your peace, Father, and they could dig into your word more now than we ever have before, seeking you and loving you. We love you and we trust you and we know that you got us in your hands. In your name I pray, Father God. Amen. Love y'all. Bye-bye.